Hello guys, in this video I will show you how to use MATLAB for communication with devices using RS232 interface. In this video I will use virtual communication port within my PC. As you can see COM10 is connected with COM9 and COM3 is connected with COM5. And I will use COM3 in MATLAB and COM5 outside MATLAB. So coming to MATLAB before using any command first check if any serial port are open or not using instr find function and if there is some port exist then please clear those ports using delete instr find uh, function now i will create the serial object i will use com3 in matlab which is connected with com5 outside matlab in hw hercules software Hercules is basically a serial port monitoring software you can use any other software of your choice or any other compatible hardware which you want to connect with MATLAB. I will configure the serial port object with COM port number 3 baud rate which we use initially is 9600 timeout uh, which is used for receiving data is set to 10 second and the terminator again which is used when uh, we receive data in MATLAB is set to line feed. After creating the serial port object the next step is to open the serial port using the serial object and we will use command f open for this. After opening the serial port we can use the fwrite function to send data over the serial port as shown here. And similarly we can use fgetS function to receive serial data in MATLAB provided that the data comes within the timeout specified or if the terminator character is received, whichever happens first. Now we will see some of the advanced properties and ways to modify these properties at runtime. But before modifying these properties we have to close the serial port using the fclose function. The get function is used to list down all the properties of the serial object. And then the set function is used to set the particular value of a particular property. Now suppose we want to view the list of property values which can be assigned to that property. Then we will use the set function. Then we will provide the object name and property value sorry property name as argument but we do not provide the property value. Then MATLAB will auto suggest us the list of the values which can be assigned. In baud rate, baud rate case we can assign any baud rate value so MATLAB doesn't return any list of property values. But if we do the same thing with the parity value then the list is displayed. If you see the list then none value is in curly bracket which means it is the default value. Now we will change the parity value to odd and then back to none using the set function. Now we will update the baud rate value from 
similarly we can do one more round of testing uh, of read and write function to ensure everything is working fine Thanks for watching guys if you like this video please subscribe to this youtube channel and do share this video with your friends